All right, so we're in Polk County, Florida. Uh, it's called Bowen Valley ATV Park. This is a state park. It was easy for us, even being out of state, to sign up for it. We've never been here. It said it's only like 200 acres, which is it's good. It'd be a fun day. Oh, there's already quite a few bikes. So it's going to be a fun day riding. Looks like there's a, a motocross track right there. We'll have some fun on that. We'll give you guys a bunch of beta footage today. We got the beta 350 with us, so, so stay tuned. Hey, thanks for tuning in. This is Jared at Three Seas. Uh, we escaped the northern weather. It's actually snowing eight to, eight to 10 inches this weekend. Uh, we're down in Florida. We are east of Tampa. We're at uh, Bone Valley ATV Park. So far, we've ridden the motocross track. Um, we got here really early, and the track was so smooth. It was so cool. It's nice now that it's getting cupped out, so we'll get to do some sand practice. It looks like Georgia red dirt. Like It looks like it should be hard, at least when we first got here, and then now it's just like cupped out, super sandy. Um, so yeah, tracks right there. It's an easy entrance, tons of parking. Uh, now there's some single track. We're gonna go do that next. Um, and we'll give you guys some footage. This is my Beta 350. We brought this, we brought his YZ85. So this 350 works good everywhere, but we'll talk more about that later. So we're gonna go do some single track.
we just we've been riding quite a bit this afternoon. Um, this bike does everything good. I love the 350s. The motocross track here though isn't like a super cross style track. The jumps are all double or all tabletop, super forgiving. Um, really sandy wide corners, which we're not great in because we're from up north, but we'll work on our sand corners better. Um, it just works. And then, you know, following Braxton on his 85 through the woods, I can lug this thing around in second gear and I've got footage of me following him and you can hear how the bikes is kind of following along. And then, you know, later I ride with my friend uh, from that lives down here. He's, he's an A rider. I try to stay with him. I can't, but I, I ride with him in the woods and the 350 will do everything that I can do is my skill level. Um, I'm probably like a B rider and I feel like I'm starting to get that K by B suspension to work a little bit. Everybody calls the shop and like, oh, I want the K by B's for trail riding. And I'm like, man, I, you really gotta be pushing the bike hard to really enjoy the forks on it. And only, you know, when I started chasing Bobby hard at the end, then I'll put some footage in there, me chasing him. I really started to feel the forks actually working, but I was like pushing the bike hard. And it's not something that I, I can't ride at that level for four hours straight, you know, where my body's not in shape for that yet. So if you want to do hair scrambles, buy the KYB stuff, but if you just want to go trail riding, I would buy the regular RR. Um, just for following him around. I think the regular RR would have been better. Um, but this bike did everything for me today. We we did the track. Uh, we did their single track loop. And this, it's really cool here. We'll, we'll come back. This is Bone Valley. Um, it was super cheap to get into. It was like 20 bucks a rider. Parking's awesome. Everybody seems to be pretty polite so far. Um, bike's pretty much stock except the exhaust. And I'm sure you can hear that on there as well. So I did a walk around video of the 2022 350. And I put this in the end of that, just so you guys could see what we do to our bikes. So if you're looking for what this bike is specifically, subscribe to our channel and scroll down, you'll see that. So yeah, that's a wrap up of us at Bone Valley today. Uh, thanks for tuning along.